Today we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 9 7900 up to 5580 MHz using the Gigabyte B650E Aorus Tachyon motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Please don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the advanced mode view. Enter the advanced CPU settings submenu. Enter the precision boost overdrive submenu. Here is where we will do most of the performance tuning as PBO provides us with the tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the precision boost to boost algorithm. Set precision boost overdrive to advanced. Set PBO limits to motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Set CPU boost clock override to enabled positive. Set max CPU boost clock override to 125. This increases the frequency ceiling by 125 MHz from the factory programmed max 1T limit. On the Ryzen 9 7900, that limit is 5450 MHz. Increasing this by 125 MHz results in a new frequency ceiling of 5575 MHz. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to adjust the voltage frequency curve for each core of our CPU by up to 30 steps in a positive direction and up to 300 steps in a negative direction. Each step represents around 5 mV. Setting a negative curve means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Set Curve Optimizer to per core. For every core, set Curve Optimizer sign to negative curve. For core 0, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 15. For cores 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 25. For cores 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 40. For core 11, set Curve Optimizer magnitude to 30. Leave the Curve Optimizer submenu. Leave the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Leave the Advanced CPU Settings submenu. Set Extreme Memory Profile, XMP, Expo to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated memory timings. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 24.01% in AI benchmark. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5580 MHz for every single of the cores. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 5140 MHz with 1.201V. The average CPU temperature is 89.9 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 19.7 and 30.8 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 212.5 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for the support and see you next time.